Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all doing well and you're excited for another edition of Friday Reads because this week I read Captivated by You by Tracy Delaney. It features Eric on the cover. This is book one of the Kincaid Billionaire series, which is a brand new series that Tracy is working on. I'm going to read the back of the book and then tell you what I thought about it. Girl walks into a bar hooks up with the gorgeous guy in the designer suit and has the hottest sex of her life. Sounds like a wet dream, right? More like a nightmare. When I wake up the next morning in the stunning penthouse overlooking the Seattle waterfront to a note saying have a safe flight back to Chicago, his message is loud and clear. One and done. Famous last words. Guess who's waiting to greet me on the first day of my new job? Turns out the mega rich Asher Kincaid is far from one and done, but surrendering his charms is a bad idea. When you've been burned once, it makes sense to stay away from the fire, except Asher is determined to drag me into the flames. So, like I said, this is a brand new series um, by Tracy, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a fun new direction for her. Um, and... I liked the dynamic between Kiana and Asher a lot. Their first um, chance meeting was funny and suspenseful in different ways. And then her starting her new job, not knowing that she's working at a hotel that he essentially runs and his family was pretty funny. Their push-pull dynamic and banter is also quite enjoyable. At the beginning of the book, there was a very funny part because I do stuff like this all the time. Um, I'll read what happens and then give context. I'm having dinner with a stranger. I really shouldn't add that to my bucket list. I really should add that to my bucket list, if only for the satisfaction, satisfaction of crossing it off. I always write things on my to-do list, like even though I had just done it just for the satisfaction of crossing it off my to-do list, so I thought that was funny. Um, at the beginning of the book, this was really Asher's, how he feels, and my company held the number one position in my life, taking up 100% of my time and attention. There, there wasn't room for a meaningful relationship. However, Kiana doesn't want to mix personal life and work life. She's worked really hard for, to try to gain a position in the industry and she doesn't want to mess it up by potentially mixing dating the boss, essentially. But he comes on real strong and aggressive because during their first date, he says, if all I see for the rest of my life is a vision of you, then I'll happily accept my fate. Um, he falls pretty quickly and pretty hard and he doesn't want to take no for an answer. Um, and again, she's kind of in the same boat because she says, why did we have to be so perfect? Why did he have to be so perfect? And why did he have to be my boss? She's trying to re she's trying not to repeat mistakes that she's made in the past, and she really wants to avoid those potential pitfalls again. Um, but the more they get involved with one another, and then especially once they meet each other's families, it's kind of inevitable that things are running their course of them being in relationship with one, with one another. Um, but there are some big events that happen that I won't spoil, that you'll just have to read in the book to see how that affects their relationship. Having said that, have you read Captivated by You by Tracy Delaney? And what do you think about it? Make sure to subscribe because I will have more Friday reads coming soon. Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs>